Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. There's a major sub-channel shuffle going on with some over-the-air TV networks. Some channels are moving to different TV stations while others are disappearing entirely. What exactly is going on? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or into antennas, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Now, I'm sure most of you know what subchannels are, but for those of you who don't, I'll quickly explain. Every TV station in the United States is allocated a certain amount of bandwidth for their over-the-air signal. Most times, the signal is multiplexed, meaning you'll have the main dot one channel and then some subchannels. For example, CBS3 in Philadelphia broadcasts CBS on their main dot one channel in HD. They also broadcast Start TV, Dabble, and Fave TV in standard definition on the same RF channel. Some examples of popular subchannels are MeTV, Antenna TV, Decades, Laugh, and many others. You can tell if a channel you pick up with an antenna is a subchannel if you see a dot two, dot three, or dot four after the main channel number. There are two major subchannel shuffles currently going on. One has to do with the launch of ATSC 3.0 Next Gen TV, and the other has to do with several media companies merging. I'll explain the merger first. Recently, the EW Scripps company acquired Ion and Cats Broadcasting. Most of you are probably familiar with the Ion network, but what about Cats Broadcasting? Cats owns several DigiNets or subchannels, including Bounce TV, Court TV, Grit, and Laugh. You'll see some of these subchannels on TV stations owned by Nexstar Media Group and ABC. Cats made contracts with these companies to broadcast their subchannels prior to the Scripps acquisition. Since Scripps technically has to pay these TV stations to broadcast the subchannels, it makes sense for them to move to ION in the meantime until the contracts expire. In order to make room on the ION station, Scripps shut down ION Plus, Shop ION, and Cubo. Additional subchannels, including QVC and HSN, may also move off ION at some point. Here's an example to better explain things. In northeastern Pennsylvania, Bounce TV, Court TV, Grit and Laugh are on Nextstar-owned stations WBRE and WYOU. They recently went live on ION as well. Once the contracts expire on the Nextstar stations, these networks will only be seen on ION. If someone is unable to pick up ION with their current antenna, they will lose access to these networks. Now there's another potential cause of people losing certain subchannels, including the popular MeTV network. It has to do with the launch of ATSC 3.0 or Next Gen TV. This is a little more complicated, but I'll try my best to explain what's happening. When an area launches a Next Gen signal, several TV stations have to partner up. One of the TV stations hosts the new Next Gen signal, but has to move their main dot one and all the subchannels to other TV stations in the market. Here's an example to better explain things. In Pittsburgh, three participating TV stations launched ATSC 3.0, which were WTAE, ABC, WPNT The Point, and WPGH Fox 53. WPNT is hosting ATSC 3.0 on their station. As a result, they had to move their main and sub-channels to another host. WPNT 22.1 moved to WPGH, but then all the sub-channels moved to the weaker WTAE signal, which doesn't do the best job covering Pittsburgh. If someone in Pittsburgh was not able to get WTAE's main signal, they could lose all of WPNT's sub-channels. The same thing is happening in any market where ATSC 3.0 is launching. Sub-channels are moving to different TV stations. I recently had a guy complain that he lost MeTV in Tampa, Florida. Because WMOR, the station that hosted MeTV before, launched a next-gen signal, the MeTV channel moved to WTSP CBS 10, a channel people with flat antennas may have trouble picking up since it's on the VHF band. If you notice you lost some subchannels and can't pick up ION or another major station in the market, there's one way to keep them and everyone knows what I'm about to say. You may need a better antenna setup. 
Since many ion stations don't have a super strong signal like ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox, a larger antenna may be required to pick them up. The same goes if you happen to live in an area where ATSC 3.0 launched and some subchannels moved to a station you can't pick up currently. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource to research antennas. I also offer antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. Rest assured that this whole subchannel shuffle is not a conspiracy to take away over the air channels and get people back on cable. With the Ion merger, it makes no sense for Scripps to pay a separate TV station to broadcast their newly owned subchannels. It's like if you owned a chain of stores and recently purchased a strip mall. Why would you pay for rent on separate leases when you could just place all the stores in a single location that you own now? As for the subchannel shuffle with the launch of ATSC 3.0 Next Gen TV, that's to be expected. There are going to be some issues with ATSC 1.0 and ATSC 3.0 broadcasting simultaneously in a market with limited bandwidth. In some areas, I can see certain subchannels shifted to a lower powered station, which may cause some viewers to lose access. That's why it's very important to have a good antenna setup. If you have a quality antenna made by Channel Master, WineGuard, RCA, Televis, or Antennas Direct, you should be fine. If you have a piece of junk that's getting you a marginal signal right now, you may lose access to some channels in the future. I must say that most TV stations do a very poor job alerting over-the-air viewers of potential reception problems, despite the resources they have. Seriously, this video will probably give you more information about a missing sub-channel than you'll find on any TV station website in the coming years. If you know of someone who uses an antenna, make sure you tell them about my YouTube channel so they can be updated on certain media mergers or how the launch of ATSC 3.0 may impact their reception. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. A huge thanks to Cody, Lewis, Paul, Bruce, and everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord and you'd like to help support the channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.